Yo, Mario! In this video, we will continue on with the layout and we'll start to look at how to get the module around an intersection. So when we left, uh, this, the situation was like this when, when last I left you. Get that there, and I had left that there. So I'm going to leave these what happens here just undecided but after having a little bit of a, a look at things what I've decided to do is to stick with a 30 um, depth down down this side here I think that makes more sense so I'm going to go offset 30 which is already set there and I'm going to put that in there like that okay and I'm going to uh, trim that out tr or extend ex that extend that um i don't know whether no i think i'll do a len i'm just not quite sure how things go len enter um select the object to oh we're going to do a dynamic dy and just uh, drop this through here and just going to bring that all the way through there. What I'm proposing is to keep that boundary there and maybe adjust these lots down through here just to uh, even out the areas around through there just to even them out um, and sort of make these lots down in here just sort of spin out that there. So. Um, perhaps make each of these lots through here just marginally bigger and, uh, and that'll just maintain that sort of boundary through there so that's all good like that um, escape I'll just do a little TR work here like that uh, double hit and I'm going to get rid of that one that one and that one and um, we'll get rid of that uh, oops let's escape oh no it's just lost it tr into enter so let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that 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 one there so that's going to be my boundary here and i'll do some adjustment down and through here delete like that there okay so i'll prob i'll come back and readjust those lots a bit later on Okay, now what I want to do here is um, I'll do the 20 offset enter 20, but that's not going to that's not going to give me that's going to give me a slightly under width lot there at 20. Um, but we'll see how that comes out. So let's just do a trim because we've got the corner to cater for there. Trim, trim to that and put that in through there. Uh, finish that no that's not working trim enter I want to oh that's not, I want to extend ex enter hit that there finish that put that in there okay now let's see what area we've got here bo for boundary uh, our pick points in here okay enter uh, select our polyline okay and that's 576 so I think we could just probably uh, if we made that 21 that would give us uh, a 30 an extra 30 meters okay which would make that 606 so let's um, delete delete that let's just go offset enter 21 21 enter and we'll pop that in there um, and we'll just uh, extend EX extend through to there and put that in there like that and let's uh, see how that goes um, BO for boundary like so pick some points there's our boundary in there, uh, polyline, and what do we got there? 606, that's fine, not a problem. 
Okay, let's delete that. Uh, delete that through there for now. Delete and let's just get some some lots in here. So that's offset enter twenty. So these will be six hundreds. One. Oops. Two. Three. Four. Five. So we'll just leave that there for now, and that'll give us five lots down there, each of uh, 600 that can go through there. Okay, alrighty. So uh, let's uh, delete. Okay, so now what we need to do is adjust this area down through here. How we might go about doing that uh, would be quite interesting so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to delete some of these through here so if I delete that through there uh, delete that through there what do I I'm just going to see what sort of area I might get through there so and just BO enter pick the points okay and go for there enter and uh, see how I go there so what I've got there is let me see um, got an area of 2805 2805 so that's um, 2805 there's not enough for five lots um, but I'll just go to my calculator 2805 enter four divide it's going to give me roughly four 700 square meter lots um i don't i think that's probably the best i'm going to go so just a slightly a slightly bigger lot in through there i don't think that would be too much of a problem um i'll just have a look at this lot here b o enter um pick points I think this uh, this lot here is um, not going to give us too much extra. So that's uh, 630, mm, 6805, 34, 30, 34, 34. So that's, yeah, we're not going to, I don't think we're going to achieve too much down through there with those uh, bigger lots. Um, I think I've got them pretty. Just go bo and through here for this one. This one here. Um, enter. And what do we got there? Uh, polyline. Uh, select the polyline. Six one four. So I don't think we're accumulating too much through there to be honest so I think I'll go with the uh, 700 square meter lots so um, I've just got one line one line through there um, so what I'm going to do is uh, that's there I'll just uh, delete that I've just got that one line through there so I think what I'll do is I'm going to go up here to the to the home to the draw command and I'm just going to divide that line there divide that line through there oh no that's not what I want to do I want to divide this line through here line from from there through to there I'm going to divide that line by four. So draw there like that. So it's that line rather than the long one. Enter. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is just go DDP type and that'll turn on the points, uh, these points. Okay. Oh, and that didn't. <laughs> Okay, um, doesn't seem to have done it. Okay, so I've got that line through there. So I'm going to go back to the draw command. There's the in, 
Oh, number of so select the object to divide. Yep, that's the one I want. And then four. Ah, there we go. And right. So now what I'm going to do is just go line from there. So that'll be a right angle. One. Yep. And then I draw another line from here. So these are just going to be some slightly bigger lots in here just to give a nice even pattern here. Just for the purposes of this exercise anyway. Um, yeah, I think that'll be alright. Like that. Cool. Okay, and now we'll just looks nice and evenly symmetric like that and then I'll just DDP type uh, in, into it and just go back to a no like that okay and let's just have a look at uh, BO in here okay pick points yep 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 I'll go to there Okay, so, um, oh, that didn't work. Uh, BO, enter, pick points. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, enter. Okay, so now let's see what we've got here, polyline. And um, what we've got, 714, yeah. Um, just want a one hit click, so. Polyline, what have we got there? 714. Okay, 695, and here, um, 680. Okay, and then we can come back into here, uh, and we're 630. So just some slightly bigger lots, some lots through there. It gives us a nice, even sort of look to things like that um, obviously we could adjust the area all the way through the whole thing there and get a whole series of even lots if we wanted to at some point um, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now um, I don't think we would achieve um, in doing that we wouldn't achieve any more lots it would just be that it will be the same even area so that's possible so um, that's going up there. So the next thing I'm going to start to do is just look at this intersection around through here and working this area and, and getting in through there. What I, I might do, I think, in this instance now is just to, um, just to work on some... Um, uh, do, do a little bit of work on these um, before I come back and have, have some more of it finished rather than... The, follow through with all of the lots. Um, I'll just, uh, just while I'm, I'll leave, uh, yeah, I'll just, no, I'm not selecting those at this stage, so I'll just leave those um, polylines in there for those at this point, and uh, we'll finish it there. Okay, see you.